again here on the U.S. side and over in the far ground in the Canadian side, nobody here is disappointed at all. They say despite what happens at the moment of totality, this is an experience, a once in a lifetime experience for so many. Here with the falls, Niagara Falls, the splendor of it in the background and just being able to feel uh, again the other parts of this eclipse, how it affects the environment. Seagulls are flying now. We'll see what happens at the moment of totality. So excitement all around here, Helena. I can imagine there, Niagara Falls, no matter what happens, what an incredibly uh, amazing place to experience it all. A lot of people I've been speaking to, Neda, they've come from far and wide. Nomia was speaking to people who'd come over from Germany for this. Is that the sense that you're getting as well? Just so many people uh, descending on the United States for this very event. Absolutely. We met a couple on the plane here uh, that were from Manchester, and we're going to be viewing this from the Canadian side and making a whole vacation out of this. And everyone else I've spoken to in the crowds have been from states uh, as far as, you know, Maryland, Massachusetts, driving up to eight hours just to be here. You know, Helen, I, I, I came across a couple yesterday that had planned this trip since December. They had a two-month-old son. People told them they were crazy for trying to do this but they understood that this was a rare moment where the eclipse would be in totality across such a large swath of the country. But they ultimately decided that with the weather forecast, they were going to pick up, go further east, uh, about a three hours drive. So some people have been having to make those difficult decisions. But for the most part, uh, those that are here said, you know, they grabbed their families, uh, kids who took off from college, younger children, just gathering them all together uh, to be uh, in this moment together. It is quite, I think, a humbling experience uh, to be here, to know that there is a world out there far larger than us and we are just a small small piece of that and it's also a learning experience for so many you know I came across an amateur astronomer who saw that NASA had advertised uh, for people to join them who own telescopes so they could help with the live broadcast uh, and she is here she's hoping that she'll be able to you know stream her images from here to the world but again let's see what happens with the cloud cover fingers crossed here in Niagara Falls I'm, keep, I'm keeping everything crossed for you, uh, Neda. Here in Ohio, I have just got word uh, that we are very much on the countdown. I think we're about 30 seconds out here right now. Uh, there are some fireworks going off right now. You can start to hear some cheers. It's feeling very cold. It's getting very gray. I don't know if you can just see that on the screen as I'm talking, but suddenly it's starting to look a little bit more like New Year's Eve as opposed to uh, the middle of the day here in Ohio. I'm just going to take a look around um, because you can hear the cheers here. Uh, everybody just taking that moment in. It is incredible. I've just got to... Yeah, I can see it now. I can see that corona. The stars have come out. It is a huge halo all the way around that total solar eclipse here in Ohio. And as you can perhaps see behind me, I mean, it almost looks like the most perfect sunset that you could imagine here on Lake Erie in Ohio, despite the fact that, yes, this is the middle of the day, but this is totality. Families are gathered, friends, a lot of excitement here. Cheers ringing out, fireworks over Lake Erie here. It feels more like the 4th of July, I think, that sense of festivity. Uh, a public holiday, it almost feels like, here in the United States. It is a truly exciting moment and a full corona around 
just an incredible vision here. Uh, hard to take your eyes off it, actually, I have to say. Uh, I can even see some, uh, scar uh, some stars lighting up what appears to be a night sky here. And the colors are just phenomenal, as you can see, almost like a dusky sunset. So many families have been coming out, uh, they've been having picnics, it's been a festival atmosphere and then over the past hour we could gradually feel it getting greyer, duskier, colder and then of course that moment of totality and it does appear to be fairly long lasting as well as we were promised, hoping to see over four minutes. Uh, potentially uh, one of the longest lasting eclipses in modern history. Now keep in mind, Ohio hasn't seen an eclipse since 1806, a full eclipse, I should say, in this particular part of the world. It won't see another one again for some 400 years. So everybody standing behind me, myself as well, we are incredibly fortunate to be witnessing this moment of history. And just to tell you how dark it is, I'm looking directly at the camera right now. I can't quite see the lens. It does feel fully like it is nightfall here right now. And everybody just taking in the moment. Um, there were cheers. It's almost gone quite quiet now. Nomia was describing a moment of awe. And that is what you're feeling, just this moment of awesomeness, of being connected to something far, far bigger than just ourselves. Um, really an amazing moment. And you can see those flares as well around the corona. Um, I've seen one solar eclipse. I've been lucky enough before. And it is truly a breathtaking moment. And perhaps there on your screen, you can see those flares. And it's starting to reappear. People will be putting back on their glasses. We saw what was described as the chromosphere. So those red areas around the sun, which we're getting because the sun is, as Pallad was explaining, at one of its high points of activity. And that is what we have got. Uh, starting to get a little brighter here now. Totality over once again. People putting on their glasses, but truly a magical moment here in Ohio. Uh, just to paint a picture of, you know, my team here on the ground as well. Uh, my camera operator, uh, he is from Ohio. He is nodding very happily because this is a fantastic moment. Um, I think just a sense of something really awesome having uh, happened here and something that is happening right across the United States and won't happen again for a very long time.